Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and another super cool top 10 video. Today we are going to be counting down the top 10 oceans and sea cards. Difficult top 10 this one because there's not a huge amount of cards to pick from. Oh, there's loads of cards to pick from, but actually there's not that many really, really cool ones. But anyhow, let's have a look. This is the top 10 I've put together. So at number 10, the first one we've got is Payara. Uh, on the draw, your opponent's feisty fish and fabulous fish cards, wherever they are, cost plus one until played and lose minus 10. And I like to hold this card because on the start, this card gains plus 20 until played. So pretty useful card. If you hold him, he does become very, very powerful. So I love him. Definitely worth putting in our top 10. Like I said, it was quite a difficult chart to do this one. Uh, and I'm sure I've probably missed a couple of good oceans and sea cards. But let's see how we get on. So moving on to number nine. Number nine in our countdown is the Oceanic Manta Ray, another super cool card, a limited legendary card. On the return, if your deck has only Oceans cards, this card costs minus six until played. I put it in because he's 10 for 100. He's a super powerful card. And if you are playing an Oceans to Sea decks, he works absolutely phenomenally well. He's really good. So Oceanic Manta Ray hits our chart at number nine. So moving on to number eight, let's have a look. Number eight in our countdown goes to the Day Octopus, another amazing card, Octopus card. You can build a really good Octopus deck, actually. Six for 55, only an Epic Limited. On the draw, if your deck has eight or more Oceans card, this card gains plus 65 until played. Like I said, there's not many amazing cards in Oceans Sea, but there's definitely a few that you can build some good decks around. I think it's definitely in need of a few synergy cards to give it a bit of a boost but anyhow that's number eight in our oceans and sea cards the day octopus moving on to number seven what have we got at number seven the crystal jelly another cool card another limited legendary card uh on the draw your oceans and sea cards wherever they are cost minus one until played eight for 82 so it's quite a powerful card and like i said if you are playing an ocean seas deck then this card can be super useful nice pitch as well the crystal jelly really nice okay that's number seven in our oceans and sea cards countdown let's have a look what is at number six i'm sure you're probably thinking about number one already but number six is green sea turtle i do love this car and i almost had it much much higher uh the only downside is the play if it matches the arena so you've got to really play them in an oceans and sea arena your oceans and sea cards in hand game plus 60 this turn so you're going to get 180 buff if you play that in the arena absolutely great card like i said the only reason he's so low is because he's got to be in an oceans and sea arena okay moving on number five we've got the mimic octopus another cool octopus card like i said you can build a really good octopus deck uh, on the return if you lost the turn steal four energy from your opponent and eight for 88 so he's a powerful card and he does work really well like i said if you are building that octopus deck definitely worth being in our top 10 uh, and he is at number five let's have a look at number four in the oceans and sea cards number four is great card this one anglerfish i do like this one and you can pretty much play it anytime you like six for 62 on the draw this card gains plus 30 this round an opponent's random card in hand loon is minus 30 really 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 good card number four in our countdown okay let's have a look at number three getting into the important cards now number three in oceans and sea top 10 goes to the great barrier reef this is a fusion card so make sure you make this one if you haven't got it on the play your oceans and sea cards in hand game plus 30 this turn and your opponent's Oceans and Sea cards, wherever they are, lose minus 30 this round. Dead useful, especially, like I said, if you are playing an Oceans and the Sea deck. Uh, in my opinion, definitely worth being in the number three spot. So that's the Great Barrier Reef. Okay, we are moving on to number two. And number two is another Fusion card. Absolutely great card, this one. Sea Sheep. On the play, your opponent's cards in hand with 41 or more base power lose minus 30 this turn. And again, you don't need to play him in that Oceans and Sea deck. You can play him in pretty much any deck. 
but definitely, definitely one of the best Oceans and Sea cars there are. Not the best, but in my opinion, he is at number two. Okay, before we move on to that big reveal for number one, should we have a look at a few honourable mentions? There's quite a few cards that just missed out on the chart, so let's have a look at these honourable mentions. Uh, Hammerhead Shark, this is a level up reward card, so I hope everybody's got this one by now. On the you play your opponent's cards in hand, lose minus 10 permanently, and 9 for 83. So pretty powerful card, that one, and he fits in those awesome Shark decks as well. Halloween Crab, a cool card this one. On the return, if you won the turn, gain plus 30 power next turn. And if you won the turn, this card costs minus two permanently. So really good card. Just missed out on the top 10, um, but he is definitely, definitely worth an honourable mention. As is Blue Dragon. A lot of people will probably say this should have been in the top 10, but I don't think so. But it is good. An opponent's random card in hand locks next turn, and your opponent's cards, wherever they are, lose minus four power until play. Nine for 91, super powerful card. Seem a lot of boxing deck, but for me, mm, nothing too special. But I did give him an honorable mention. As I did with the Queen Angle Fish, your Ocean City cards in hand cost minus four this turn, and that's a fusion card. Really useful if you are playing an Oceans and Sea deck. Six for 35. And the Vampire Crab, again, great if you are playing that Oceans and Sea deck. Good deck is two or more Crustacean cards. Two of your opponent's cards, wherever they are, lose minus 50 until played. So almost put him in the top 10, but he definitely, definitely gets an honourable mention. The Vampire Crab. As does Adelie Penguin, another cool card, especially if you are building a Penguin deck. Check out that Penguin video, that amazing deck. You'll see Birds and Card, wherever they are, gain 15 permanently. But if you lost a turn, this card uses 100 permanently. So you need to make sure you win with the Delhi Penguin. But he's a great card. Definitely worth an honourable mention. Okay, probably no surprise for anybody. Number one in the Oceans and Sea. One of the best, best cards in the whole game. Still is Bobby Worm. Absolutely amazing card. If you build the right deck around him, you're going to have yourself one of the best decks in the game. On the return, all cards, wherever they are, with 50 or more, more base power, lose minus 25 power until played. Even though he was nerfed quite a long time ago, actually, maybe four or five months ago, I think it used to be minus 25 permanently, but minus 25 until played is still a phenomenal card. So that's Bobby Worm, definitely worthy of taking the number one spot in our Oceans and Sea Cards chart. Anyhow, I hope you like that. We've got some more top 10s coming up very soon. Do leave your top 10 in the comments below because I'm always interested to see, especially with this one, I really struggled to put together this top 10. Um, I couldn't find enough really good cards. But anyhow, thanks for watching. Enjoy Q. Take care, everybody. And we will see you all soon. Bye.